I'm Molly here with Rose City RV of Michigan, and today we're going to take a look at the all new 2025 318 RL View Impression. So, is this a correct model for you, you may ask? Here are five key specifications to help you decide. This model can sleep up to six people, has a weight of 10,960 pounds, has an overall length of 38 feet 11 inches, has a height of 13 feet 4 inches, features three slide outs. So let's take a look inside. Okay, so welcome inside the 318 RL. As you can see, this has a bright brown furniture. This is new for 25 or cowhide leather, whatever you want to refer to that color as. Um, I like that change for 2025. I think that's a, a nice color. Then we have our dark cabinets, our brown wicker baskets as that nice touch and tie to that cow leather hide um, color of the couch. Now, starting here, we have our theater seating. So that flips down, we have our little power center here for USB. We've got reclining there. So then over here we have our sofa sleeper. So this pulls out into a bed and allows you to sleep six people in this coach. Um, we will get to where the other um, sleeping arrangements are. Um, so couch and also sofa sleeper. Over here we have end tables. This is kind of neat. They just added um, lift up on these. Just another space for storage, which we like. Overhead here, instead of putting the cabinet drawers, they went with these wicker baskets. I think it's nice um, for the look, but also it's just easier and more functional than the cabinets. Nobody ever used those cabinets because they're tall and in the air. Um, but the first thing you probably noticed in this coach is all of the gigantic windows. As you see in here, this unit is covered in windows. That's where the view part comes in. Um, these Curtains here. These are going to be insulated curtains. Um, I like that feature. Many of you may not know, um, but RV windows are not typically insulated in the, unless you option thermal pane windows, which is a three to four thousand dollar option. And most people do not do it. That's mostly a high end thing. Um, so all of these windows are not going to be insulated. Unfortunately, that's how we can keep the cost down. But these. Uh, insulated backer curtains are going to help tremendously with that when the sun's cooking in here. Now, they also make it look very residential. Um, a lot more, though, than the old blind styles, um, the string blind styles. So I like these. I like how this looks. Allows them to frame in the windows square. Just gives it more of that residential look. So I think that's a good thing. And like I mentioned, just that functionality is a lot better because those are insulated. Now, moving over here to the slide, this whole wall here is a slide out. We have our TV located here, and we're going to have our um, hookups right behind this. This is not a swivel bracket. That's just a straight-on TV. We have two Bluetooth speakers located here that are pairable. Um, so you can have one inside, one outside, both outside, both inside, whatever you want to do and play the same music, which is nice. You can um, get additional speakers of these. You can, I think, pair up to 10 together, so that's kind of a cool feature. Underneath of that, we have our fireplace. Um, again, just kind of gives you that residential feel. We have storage next to that on both sides. Then, um, inside of the slide, we have this really cool feature which is our hidden bunk room. So coming inside of here, this is a very large area. You can easily sleep um, two children here. We have additional two stools hiding in here for out there. You could put those out and have four stools if you wanted, or you could leave them at home and only have two. Um, so that's a plus. Those are comfortable and they're easily, easily movable. And then over here, we have more wicker baskets and storage. So just storage for the kids kind of keeps the kids' stuff contained and out of the way. Um, now, even if you're not interested in a bunkhouse or don't have kids, this model still works because that can be used as lots of storage. If you're going to extend it stay, another good option. You can put totes in there or whatever you may need. And you can also sleep people there if you do need. So it's kind of a cool feature. Um, you've got that bunkhouse if you need it, or you've got the storage if you need it. And it doesn't take away from the feel of the coach. Inside this coach, it doesn't feel like a bunkhouse, so that's kind of nice. As many of you may know, they have been doing the hidden storage thing or hidden bunk thing for a little while now, um, and it has gone over pretty good. Inside of here, more pantry room with that motion sensor light. 
Then we have the 16 cubic foot refrigerator here. And this is gonna be 12 volt as well. Nice and big, lots of storage. Then we have our oven with our large storage drawer underneath. So lots of pan storage there, microwave, and then storage additional. And then extra large drawers here, which is nice. Utensils and such. Uh, that's a furnace exhaust if you were wondering, or furnace um, duct if you were wondering. No ducts in the floor, which we like. Um, just one less place for the sand and the dirt to get stuck in those grates so you don't have to worry about that. Now, this island, it just really makes this coach look nice, I, I think. Um, the white countertop really contrasts the darker uh, cabinetry, which is a bonus. And then also gives you, like I said, two extra bar stools here. So if you're wanting to um, seat four people here, you can. And then we also have the desk or the buffet option located here. Um, if you want to work from your RV, you can do that. If you want to um, just use this as additional um, dining space, you can do that. Kind of multifunction. And then drawers here, drawers there with some nice storage underneath as well. So multi-use, which we like. Now, coming up to here, this is just going to be our um, fan control for up on the ceiling there. And then, obviously, USB ports and then 110 outlet. This is kind of cool. Little coat rack area here. Put two hooks here and then just a little storage up here. Um, hats, gloves, whatever you might want to put there. And then our... Uh, monitor panel located here. We're going to have our awning and our slide controls, our main light controls, uh, water pump, the tank heaters for our um, holding tanks underneath and our heated and enclosed underbelly. Dual thermostats because this does have dual air. And then we have our controls for our on-demand water heater located right here. Now, moving into the bathroom. This is a pretty large bathroom for the coach. Um, this is going to have dual sinks, um, tri-slides shower here with the, um, the marble face here. I like this look. Um, it's obviously not real marble. It's going to be lighter. Um, but it just really makes it look rich, which we like. And then, like I said, these are tri-slide. Always make sure these are latched when you're driving. And then um, dual mirrors with our storage behind and then storage here and then three drawer here as well and then behind here we have our additional sink as you can see okay moving into the master bedroom we have a king bed that's also on a versatilt that gives us all this room here for changing um or filling up the closet or unloading the closet whatever you may need um, one thing I like that they did in here, which is not a functionality thing, but it is just a looks and cosmetic thing. They added panels to the sidewall here, and it just makes it look residential and feel um, more comfortable, more like a home bedroom. So that's kind of cool. And then our furnace duct is going to be located under there, just like that other one I showed you. Again, nothing in the floor, which I like. Little bench here that you can use for putting your shoes on, taking them off, getting dressed, whatever you need to do. And then three drawer cabinets, or three drawer dresser there for our clothes. With our large front closet here, lots of hang space with some built-in storage space there as well. And then our washer dryer hookup, so if you are interested in putting in a washer dryer, you can do that there. So that's going to be it for the inside. Let's go outside and take a look at that. Okay, so starting with the outside, we're on the door side here. Our low point drains are located right up underneath of here, which you probably cannot see. They're on valves right there. We have our 110 outlet and our cable hookup for an external TV. If you'd like to put one on the outside, you can do that. Our pass-through storage, this goes all the way to the other side. On this side, we're going to have a bottle opener, solar controller, a light switch, some lights in here, and then our uh, battery disconnect is located here as well. Moving around to the front, we have our storage area here. That's where your spare tire is going to be located, your battery boxes, and then we currently have the power cord there as well. 
moving around over here we have our dual propane tanks in here which are going to be 220s i mentioned before this is a lot of coach for 220s but one thing i like about the 220 pounder option is that it's a lot easier for elderly people um, to maneuver these tanks. These are only going to be 40 pounds versus a 30 pounder. It's going to be like 56, 57 pounds when it's full. That's a heavy tank to be maneuvering. So I do like that option. If you are in uh, better physical shape and you're interested in optioning to the 30s, you could always change these out to 30s if that's what you need to do. And then we have our docking station located here with the other side of our pass through we're going to have our electric auto level pad located there our manual jack and then we're going to have antifreeze inlet located here easy pump switch here makes winterization really easy keeps the mess outside our city water connection our fresh water connection and the black tank flush is going to be all located right here and then we have our um, outside shower you can use that for rinsing out your sewer hose or taking an outside shower whatever you may need to do cable satellite hookups here and then underneath of here is where you can route those hoses and stuff up under if you want to lock your compartment you can still do that by running the hoses there right here we also have our ground control um, instructions so a lot of times when we give people their demo by the time they get home they've already forgotten how to use this so that's just a quick reference nice and simple and easy then we have our tankless water heater so that's a nice feature um, this is going to be the exhaust obviously make sure you're not putting anything in front of that pressure relief valve here um, nothing you really need to do or know with that other than that you can turn the water on as long as you have propane that's never going to run out of heat and then furnace exhaust located right here so we like this on the off door side um, just remember this is hot if the furnace is on it's got a hot exhaust don't put anything in front of it that needs to be able to exhaust we have our 50 amp power cord um, hook up here so the power cord that we showed you earlier i don't love this location i like them back in the back because usually that's where the power cord um, our power box is so you might need an extension with this one up underneath of here we have our three inch and you can't really see them because they're hidden up under the underbellies but our gate valves are in that heated and enclosed underbelly that's nice for our late fall camping early spring camping keeps those valves from freezing up and they put extensions on them so they're easy to grab a hold of this is going to have two gray tanks one galley one gray whatever you want to call them and then one black so the kitchen's going to be on its own the bathroom's going to be on its own and the toilet is on its own so lots of tank space there and one thing i don't think i had mentioned um before but these are all through frame slides um except the bed slide those are going to be Schwinn tech slides so this is a heavy duty slide system um, my rep actually told me that somebody put a gun safe in that um, storage area in the slide so from the sounds of it weight is not an issue you can put all kinds of storage things in here if you're not using it for sleeping space and you, you don't really have to be concerned about that so that, I like that that's a cool thing and then we have our sewer hose um, holder kind of hidden there and then we have our tow package hitch here. Those are rated for 3,000 pounds, 300 pound tongue weight. It does kind of tell you here, so that's nice. And that's going to be the two inch receiver. Already has the chain brackets welded on and also pre wired. So if you're going to tow that boat, tow that cargo trailer, Harleys, whatever you want to tow behind here, um, it's already ready for hookup as long as it's under that 3,000 pound mark. Looking at this side profile, you can see all these massive windows. You can see we have two large awnings here that are going to run almost full length of the coach. We have a, a 13 foot awning here and a 14 foot awning there. So lots of awning, um, which is where a lot of people spend most of their time. So that's definitely a nice option is getting all that awning side, getting all that site space. So that's cool. Also, another thing is the Asdell exterior. This is high gloss. You can tell it's super shiny. It looks really nice. This is all composite material. So 
You're not going to have to worry about this uh, delaming or sagging just from age. And 10 years from now, this is going to look as nice as it does today. Um, and there's no wood. There's no more Luan in this construction. This is all composite material. So they laminate this with a composite. Put this high gloss on the outside. It looks incredible. There's not many other um, fifth wheels in this price point that have this nice exterior construction. So I really like the way they did that. So that's going to be it for our 318 RL view impression. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more RV videos like this.